So guys, fun fact, my first ever PC case was actually an Antec case. I can't remember the name of it, but when Antec reached out to me a few weeks back and asked if I wanted to try their new DF600 case, it made me realize how far PC cases have come in the last 10 years. Like, my first case was literally just a boring black box. This thing, however, is not just a boring black box, it's a pretty cool looking one with some rather interesting features. Now this case is actually part of Antec's new Flux lineup. It stands for Flow Luxury and is defined by two key features. The first is that the PSU shroud has an intake vent on the right side to feed air up through to where the GPU would normally be. Pretty interesting. And the second is that every single case in the Flux lineup will come with at least five fans. More on those features later, but first, let me know your guys' first impressions in the comments. What do you think to the overall aesthetics? I actually quite like it. I think the front panel design is cool. It's got this smoked acrylic piece which sits over the front intake and it's got openings on all four sides so as not to restrict airflow too much. And you've got that nice tempered glass side panel for a good view of all your components. As I just mentioned, all five 120mm fans do come pre-installed and the three at the front are actually addressable RGB which is really nice to see in such a budget friendly case. This thing retails for $70 or £70 here in the UK. The other two fans come pre-installed at the back and on top of the PSU shroud, although this time there's no RGB. Interestingly though, the airflow direction on the PSU shroud fan is reversed, so the frame or hub side of the fan is actually the intake. The vast majority of fans work the opposite way, so yeah, it may look like it's blowing air down into the PSU shroud, but it's actually doing the opposite. Speaking of fans, you can fit a total of nine in this case altogether, three in the front, three up top, two on the PSU shroud and one at the back. You can also mount radiators up to 360mm in the front and at the top. Now there's a few other cool things to mention. The front USB ports which are located on the top of the case have rubber caps on them to prevent dust from getting in there when they're not being used. Around the back there's a built-in 6-way DC fan hub so no PWM control unfortunately but it is nice that they included that if you just want to make things easier for yourself. Also on that same hub are 6 addressable RGB headers so you can hook up the front ARGB fans to it or some LED strips as well if you want. The hub has two cables that you'll need to connect, one to SATA power and the other one to a 3-pin addressable RGB header on your motherboard, if you want software control that is. There's actually an LED button built into the top of the case which you can press to change between the colour presets on the hub which is a really neat feature. After all, not every motherboard has 3-pin addressable RGB headers. While we're around the back, I'll show you what we've got in terms of cable management. So there are some Velcro strap tie downs, which are always nice to have. Clearance towards the front of the case is 34.5 millimeter with 26.5 millimeter towards the back. So nothing too crazy, although it's a good job they included that combo ARGB fan hub, because if you're running nine fans in this thing and you've got a million and one different RGB fan hubs and controllers, could get a little bit tight. Although the hard drive cage at the bottom of the case is removable, which I personally would remove because then it frees up some space down in the bottom for excess PSU cables. And I mean, does anybody use hard drives anymore? Let me know in the comments. Speaking of storage, there are two SSD trays on the right side of the case, but there is also space to install one here if you want to as well. As I mentioned, you do have those two 3.5 inch drive bays down in the bottom. However, you can install an additional 3.5 inch drive near the top of the case as well. So yeah, storage expansion is pretty good. Couple of other things to mention, motherboard support is ATX, MATX and ITX. Again, pretty standard. Now the thing that impresses me most about this case guys is how much you get for your money. Remember, this thing is $70. It's aimed at the budget market and so it's nice to see features such as magnetic removable dust filters, for example. There are four of them in total, one in the front, one at the bottom, one at the side and the other at the top. They're easily removable and therefore easy to clean. It's little things like this that show that Antec have put thought into making a good value case. You don't always get these kind of features at this price point, not to mention things like five included fans, three of which are ARGB. Now Antec did also send across five of their Prism ARGB fans. I actually bought a pack of these for my main build. I really like them. They have like this cool halo ring design which looks good from both the front and the back. So in the finished build we are running a total of eight fans, three in the front with a 360mm radiator. I should also mention that you can mount the front fans on the inside or the outside of the case, there is room for both variations. We've got two Antec Prism fans on top, one at the back and another two sitting on top of the PSU shroud. One thing I will mention is that it's not the quietest build, especially if you're running those three front fans off of that built-in fan hub because there's no PWM control, so they're just going to be running at full speed. But anyway, let's move on to thermals. Obviously, one of the defining features of this case is that it's pulling air through that PSU shroud. In theory, at least, it should have great cooling performance, and I'm pleased to tell you, it's pretty good. 
So CPU temps 36 and 68, a little improvement here over my previous case, the Deepcool CL500. But it's the GPU temps in particular that seem to have come down, clocking in at 38 when idle and 58 when under load. So yeah, very decent cooling performance, especially in this price range. It's not outstanding, although there aren't many cases out there that I would call game changers in terms of air cooling. Although I'd like to think that that PSU shroud intake design does have a positive effect on temperatures. It will be interesting to see this design developed even further. I do think it's a cool idea. And that kind of summarizes my thoughts on this case. Antec have really stepped up their game recently. Like I said, my first ever PC case was an Antec case and it's amazing to see how far they've come. I really dig the looks. That smoked acrylic panel on the front almost looks like tempered glass from a distance when you've got the RGB fans shining through it. Visibility of those fans is great as well. Fairly easy to build in. There's plenty of room for components. You've got those Velcro straps for cable management. The built-in fan hub is always a welcome feature, plus you can control the lighting with that cool button on the top of the case, I like that. Yeah, honestly, for this price, not much to complain about. I've got a feeling Antec are going to be releasing some more cases based on this new Flux platform. Maybe we'll see a mesh version, that would be awesome. But yeah, if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave links down in the description. Let me know what you think to it in the comments. Would you consider this case for your next build? If you enjoyed the video today, guys, a like rating would be much appreciated, it helps me out. And subscribe if you're new. At the rate we're going currently, we may just about hit 50k subs before the end of 2020 which would be absolutely crazy you guys have been awesome recently you can catch me on instagram and twitter at tech tesseract with that being said hope you guys have an awesome week i'll catch you all in the next one